What's up, YouTubers? This is Eric from Easy Computer Solutions. So a lot of people always ask me, uh, how do I use my Fab2 Pro? I've been telling a lot of people that I've been using the Fab2 Pro as my business device. Uh, so today, guys, I want to kind of uh, talk to you guys real candidly about how I use this Android device as my mobile business device. As you can see here, I got the Fab2 Pro on the stand, uh, along with a, a Apple keyboard, all right, and I have an HP mouse. So I'm using Bluetooth here uh, to, to run the device. Uh, and also I have a Bluetooth printer uh, over here, uh, some of the things that I use uh, daily when uh, at my business. So uh, basically guys, I wanna kinda of show you real candidly how I use this mobile device as a business oriented uh, machine. So get your popcorn ready and follow me on this journey. Let's go. What's up guys, this is Eric again with another video. So I use the Fab2 Pro as my business only device. Uh, some of the things that I use uh, daily is uh, again, a keyboard and a mouse. Uh, I use this device, listen, a 6.4 inch device. It's very big, it's very huge. Uh, I use it uh, because it's very mobile, very good to go. And the Bluetooth keyboard and the mouse usually stays here at the business. So basically what I do is I, I just kind of grab the device, I keep it with me, and I just put it on the stand and it's ready to go. Some of the things that I use with this device is Word. Uh, I type a lot of uh, Word documents and stuff like that. And it's it, since the screen is so big, you can see a lot of things on the screen so uh, basically what I usually do is uh, if I have to type up some documents and stuff like that the keyboard works out great uh, when I'm doing that so um, just kind of going through it a little bit kind of new here and again even though uh, this device doesn't wow you with the specs, it is a very fast and fluid device. Uh, no problems, no hiccups uh, as far as stuttering or anything like that. So basically I have a Word document open and the, the device is big enough that I don't have any issues with seeing it. So basically I'm good to go as far as typing the document. So it kind of lets you see how the keyboard works here. So um, this is... Uh, is a test. Anything about it is I can still utilize the touch screen uh, and utilize the keyboard. So basically, if I need to blow that up, I can blow that up as uh, so. Uh, this device has a 1440p screen, so it works out great as far as the detail of the text on the device. And as you can see, I don't have any issues uh, as far as fluidity with the device. So uh, using that works out fine and again uh, with bluetooth keyboards and mouse uh, on android phones you can utilize this as well but uh, i love the big size of the fab2 pro uh, and it works out great for me another thing that i like to do uh, is i use what's called splash top uh, and that connects to my pc at home if i need to get some serious work done with this device i can always connect to my splash top uh, to my uh, home pc uh, and I could get a lot of work done here. Now, right now I am connected to my home PC, as you can see. And so basically at this point, what I do is I just kind of flip it over. Now it's giving me a full um, page here that I can see here. And again, if I need to pull up anything uh, from my home PC, I could do it here. And as you can see that it is fast, it is fluid. Uh, it works out very good. Let me go to open up a browser here. Um, so you guys can see this and again, it works out pretty fast and I'm doing this here, uh, at my business and my PC is at home. So man, it, it is a dream come true if you want to get work done and using splash top. Now I have access uh, to Adobe flash. So if I need it to pull up any documents or anything, uh, dealing with Adobe flash, I could do it here. I can pull up, um, Adobe Premiere Pro, Adobe Premiere Pro here, all right? So I'm pulling up Adobe Premiere Pro uh, on this device so I can actually edit my videos on the go here. Um, so I'm at my, again, I'm at my, my mobile workstation at uh, my business. My PC is at home. Uh, I am remote logging in. And now at this point, I could uh, edit my videos and 
you do have a small pause with it, but uh, man, if you look at this, it is actually pretty fast and fluid. So now I'm on Adobe Premiere Pro uh, and it, hey, I'm fully loaded here uh, with this device and to give you kind of an example. Let me go on and add uh, some stuff here real quick and there you go, boom. So now I can, I have full access to Adobe Premiere Pro as you can see and uh, look at that. So. I can actually edit my videos using Adobe Premiere Pro full access here and uh, there it is. I utilize this device uh, for a lot of uh, photo editing. Uh, kind of give you an example, uh, kind of put it back here. Uh, so since I'm using Bluetooth uh, printers here uh, and I do a lot of photo editing, I usually kind of go here kind of give an example of what I do. Um, so I want to kind of go to google.com and I'm gonna pull up an image. Um, and I get a lot of people that send me emails about images and stuff like that, that, that need to be printed, uh, also uh, edited. And I do that too, uh, as far as business wise. Uh, so uh, basically here again, Bluetooth keyboard and mouse um, works out pretty good. So let's go down and type up New Orleans Saints. And as you can see, um, the device runs very fast and fluid. I don't have no issues uh, as far as uh, the, the performance of this device, by the way. Uh, so I want to kind of go to images. And some of the unique features with the Fab 2 Pro, I mean, wow, man, the thing has augmented reality. Uh, I've done gaming reviews with this phone. Uh, I've done a lot of different aspects with this device and using it as a business device is more of a dream come true because it's big enough that you can see a lot of stuff on the screen. So I uh, just kind of want to pull up an image, uh, shout out to the New Orleans Sinks. So at this point, what I want to do is I just want to save the document. So I just kind of, you know, basically say download image. And as I download the image again, the fluidity of the touch screen, the fluidity with all of this stuff here, it works out pretty good. Now, uh, a lot of things that people ask me is about the battery life. The battery life with the 4,000 plus milliamp battery does pretty good. Uh, so as we got that document here, let me go to my photos real quick and I wanna pull that document up, all right? So I'll pull that document up. And what I wanna do at this point, uh, I'd have this document saved, but I wanna crop it out a little bit. So. Um, one of the unique things that I like about the, the Fab 2 Pro is uh, they have this unique screenshot feature. Let me go back to that image there and uh, let me pull this up. Um, so right now, uh, I just did a screenshot and at this point I could do was I could crop this image. So basically, and this is, you know, for video purposes, I want to kind of get just a 50 in there. I just kind of show you guys a little bit. Just want to get that 50 in there. All right. And I don't want to get anything else. I just want to kind of get that 50 in there. All right. Uh, and I utilize this a lot for my thumbnails for my YouTube channel. Uh, so just kind of save that. Now I have that saved. And what I want to do is it's is weird uh, and it's nice. Uh, the power of this device, by the way. Uh, I want to go to a PowerPoint uh, deal here. And I use PowerPoint a lot um, for different aspects of, of my business and uh, for my YouTube channel. So. Uh, let's go to new here and I want to kind of go to a blank page here and, and, and I want to show you guys some of the things that I do. Uh, you know, dealing with a smartphone, you want to utilize all the resources to utilize what it's for. So basically, um, right now I'm in a PowerPoint presentation and what I want to do is I want to just add that image in here in this PowerPoint presentation that I'm doing. And again, the, 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 the photo that I cropped, here we go right here. So uh, basically, and again, you could do this with any Android phone, but it's pretty unique to get it, do this with a, a full blown um, 6.4 inch device. So uh, basically guys, it's just kind of put that there, just kind of fix it up a little bit uh, and fix that up a little bit. Pretty cool, right? And uh, so at this point, I can add, you know, uh, any kind of annotations and stuff like that. And this is good to go. And plus, again, with the screen being so large, I mean, I can 
this mobile device is king for me uh, and I don't have to bring a tablet, I don't have to bring the laptops, I don't have to bring anything. I have full access uh, to everything I need here at my business using the Fab2 Pro and the Apple keyboard and a mouse. So basically that's all I wanted to show you guys today that I use the Fab2 Pro as my business device. This is Eric from Easy Computer Solutions. Leave a question down below. Let me know what you think about the Fab2 Pro and all its glory. See you guys on the next video. Peace.